what's up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous darling i am cold okay i don't know what this weather is doing it's supposed to be 70 the end of the week that's how people getting sick okay are you sick out there let me know how are you doing comment down below i would love to know that go ahead and thumbs up this video like it while you watch it just go ahead and do it that's how i know that you want to see more of these reviews and also subscribe if you haven't already it is free 99 aka free the november lose it challenge has kicked off. It is going great. I'm super excited about it. I'm glad that those who have signed up are excited about it too. Due to the response, I am going to extend the date until dun, 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 this Friday the 13th. Oh my goodness. Yes. You need meal plans. You need motivation. You need workouts. You just need help from Miss P. Don't worry about it. Girl done lost going on 90 pounds. So you know what? I'm trying to help everybody that I can. Health kick. I know Thanksgiving and Kruma and all of that is coming up. You know what I'm saying? That's when you just eat until you can't eat anymore. But child, uh-uh. We do not have time to try to revert back. January's coming up. Everybody gonna be in the gym getting it. Why don't you just go ahead and start getting it now? Okay, guys, I have some shout outs at the end, so stay tuned. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. Rich Slobbers, he's met with Monice's son and he was like, hold up, hold up. Uh, this is a bit much. I need a break. So it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little too real for you. You know, you meet people, kids and stuff. You be like, oh shoot. Rich about to be going to functions and family reunions. Chow. Ooh. Ray J is tagging along because him and Rich have been friends you know uh loving the crew sleazeball days so they go to see willie in the studio ray j and his little dready situations he's trying to figure out what's popping being that he's the only one single at the time but then he realized like dang you with monice you married so we really have to quarantine you i'm in my single dumb mm but I still love Princess Love. And here goes Rich Slobbers. He was like, look, 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 I love Monique. Like, I, I really do. Like, she a good girl. But I mean, I gotta be rich, AKA, I gotta still be a sleazeball. Like, once a sleazeball, always a sleazeball. I think Rich gonna be one of them men who got like a uh, 20 year old where he about 70, and that's just how he gonna roll, him and Ray J. I really don't see them married and settled and being able to really be monogamous. See, I can't even say it, monogamous, I can't, uh-uh. I not for them. No, monogamous, they can't be. Speaking of Moniece, she is swinging on the swing set with Cameron and Fizz is singing in the background. After the come to Jesus moment, their nice little healing session, she is back in Cameron's life being a mother and even Fizz is like, round of applause. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Maybe we can have like a little schedule or something and she's like, oh my God, yes, baby daddy, sure. Now Fizz wants to meet with Rich Slobbers because he feels as though, you know what, I've been hearing stuff on social media and I want to make sure whoever's around my son is, you know, up and up. And I'm like, you know what? Yes, Richard is not the sharpest crayon in the box, but uh, Fizz, you ain't no better pumpkin with your dating pool. You letting everybody babysit Cameron. Whatever works for them, if the shoe fits, honey, wear that bitch. We're with Miles on the beach and he's feeling so relieved now that he has just told everybody, but the last person that he really needs to make sure everything is fine with is Milan. Milan is like, I told you not to shut me out. Miles is like, I'm trying to apologize. I'm trying to tell you that I love you. Milan is still in his feelings because he feels like he should have been there through this whole process even with the whole coming out to Amber as well as his family. No, sweetheart, I don't think you should have been there. Uh, you could have been there from afar. Miles always knows how to get Milan. He was like, you know what? But I do want you to, you know, meet my family. Milan was like, okay. <laughs> Fizz is going to go see Nikki Baby at the club uh, because he has a new single called, you know, Baby Lo what was it called? Baby Lotion. Tan and lotion. Good lotion. I was like, how did you and Max Lux, that's how y'all came up with that name. Only you and Max Lux could come up with that. But he wants Nikki Baby to star in it because, you know, he want to rub that good lotion like a potion all over Nikki baby he is super busy because hazel she's been stepping in for the fashion show and she's low-key mad that tiara went and got lipo and we're only like a week and a half away fizz is like yo you ready for the video she's like you know what i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it because i have so much going on and then looky looky out of nowhere they both look and he like yo is that my homie willie's wife and then he was like yeah she does she's been you know popping in that ass like for the last couple weeks now yeah she just got on there do it girl it just cued to her i said if this ain't a setup monice and richard are having a picnic and she wants to tell him that you have to meet with my baby daddy amaria and april we haven't seen them in a minute you know what this whole time i didn't know what april do 
does. I didn't know she did music. I didn't know. This big boy, he, you know what, he is such a professional interviewer that he was like, okay, so how have you been handled? What the hell do you do? What? Are, okay, how is it going? Ah. Then he segues back to Amarion. Even though Amarion had shades on, he would look at her like... This is my interview! Back in the car, she feels as though she has sacrificed in every single relationship that she's been in, including this one, especially when it comes down to her career. And Amarion is like, Ben, you just had a baby, Ben? Supposed to be just blew up, Ben? Like, we need to ride this, Ben? Do the wheels fall off, Ben? Or have you been, oh, have you been doing your warm ups, Ben? Look, ma'am, uh, you on tour with old dude. Okay, for one, all those connections, all that networking, all that music waiting to happen. Girl, you have so much opportunity that the average person doesn't. Girl, you gotta get in where you fit in and ain't nobody gonna give you nothing, okay? At the end of the day, you have to have an ounce of looking out for self as well. That's great that you're a mother. That's awesome that you're with Amaria. But girl, you gotta look out for April at the same time. Out of nowhere, Hazel E is doing a photo shoot. I didn't know what the hell that was for. Here comes Princess Love. And uh, they need designers for the fashion show. Hazel E was like, so yeah, are you ready? And Princess Love was like, I was, I'm always ready. The question is, are your people ready? Because we don't wanna give them couture and then we end up giving them pay less at the same time. I'm not gonna be embarrassed. Princess Love, I didn't know you had that calculated shade like that. I didn't know that. Willie is feeling way up. He feels blessed now that he is out of that contract and he has like a little performance that he's gonna do. Al Doran, he's meeting up with Shonda. He's also meeting up with Fizz and uh, Nikki Baby. I was like, if this ain't a setup waiting to happen. And yet he still don't know that she been shaking that ass for cash. He don't know that. Nikki Baby ends up dropping the bomb and we all knew that she was gonna do that. Shonda guzzled that whole glass of champagne and she was like, huh? Me? Fizz and Nikki Baby hold up the one finger and they exit stage left. And uh, Shonda and Willie, they're going back and forth. Willie is like, you can go do that shit by yourself and get on out. Excuse me, Willie. How are you going to tell her to um, go ahead and get out if she was, you know, the one supplying the funding for the last couple of weeks? He did supply the Marita bread. Like, come on. Then he has to perform for this sold out 10 person crowd. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like everybody was standing up. This There were some people on the side. Then you see Nikki Baby and Fizz over here. I was like, what kind of ball? What is this? All he could think about was Shonda on that pole. When he said that, I was thinking of the best man. You remember when Morris was giving his vows? <laughs> After the performance, Shonda is outside <laughs> with that one lone pasted tear smearing that makeup. That scene was really giving me general hospital. Like it was so staged and so dramatic. You don't have to shake your ass for us. And then he held her and told her it was okay. And she was like, I'm sorry. He was like, yo, that really hurt me. I was like, I cannot. I can't with this. It's time for Richard to meet with Fizz. So they have their bro talk. And then Fizz is like, so where do you see this relationship going? Rich is like, you know what? She a good girl. You know what I'm saying? She made good jelly sandwiches. She ironed my shirts real nice. You know what I'm saying? She likes Sour Patch Kids and gummy bears. Like, she a real, she a good girl. You know what I'm saying? She slide my knob like corn on the cob. She a good girl. But you know that. You know. You know what? I'm, I'm going to just say this. I can't guarantee that I'm going to do right. But I, you know what? I can guarantee that I'm going to be with her. What? Fizz is like, yo, well, if that's what was it, y'all need to just play and not have Cameron in there. Rich was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whenever I see Cameron, I'm uncle. I'm not his daddy. I already got kids. You know what I'm saying? I am probably got a kid older than you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just uncle. I ain't going to reprimand him unless he on fire. You know what I'm saying? Fizz was like, I can respect that. I was like, you know what? I, I can't. I can't. Most of the scenes in this episode, I just could not do. I left like, huh? It is time for the fashion show fitting. Tierra is nowhere to be found. Milan has an underwear line. Are we surprised? He should have came out with some furs, some lip balms, and some two small hats. Everybody is there, and here comes Tierra Marie a little bit later. She has one blazer and some patterns. I when is the show? Houseway. She was cool with Milan being there. She didn't know that Princess Love was singing in the background until Hazel E said something about it. And Tierra was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not know this. I'm just not going to be in the show. I'm not going to do this where I'm not going to do that. Princess was like, she don't want to be in the show because I have stuff and she's not ready. Out of nowhere, Nikki and Milan were like, let it go. Frozen, just because Princess Love has let it go, she should be the one to let it go too. Well, I have to say with Tierra Marie, she didn't even know that Princess Love was in the event. When was somebody gonna tell her? This was, that was messy. 
Y'all remember uh, Super Mario where he would eat the pellet and he'd go whip, 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 whip. Uh, that is how Hazel was doing this whole time. She was just getting amped after amped. And as soon as Tierra Marie said she wasn't doing nothing, that's when Hazel was like, uh-uh, don't you say you ain't never did nothing because you done did some stuff. Hazel was ready. The guns were ready. They both talking about loyalty back and forth. Princess making sure, you know, her bangs are sitting. Milan licking them lips. I don't know what Nikki Baby was doing, but everybody looking like, what? They start talking about who? Berg again of all people. I thought we done talked about this 50 11 times. Hazel E said that uh, Tierra Marie was sucking dick for tracks. Uh, and all that Tierra Marie could say to that was, uh, uh, girl, uh, uh, I hope your nose fall off tonight. I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> okay. I hope you die tomorrow, bitch. Wait, what? Tierra, wait, okay, that, okay. I can understand shade. I can understand I hope your nose falls off. But I hope you die tomorrow. Like, damn, who says that? And Hazel, girl, you still mad that Berg wanted Tierra and everybody else but you, girl. You still salty over that. They both got a lot of issues going on. Milan had to escort her out. It was just a mess, yeah. It was a mess. What do y'all think about Tierra Marie? And Hazel E. What do you think about Princess Love and Tierra Marie? Did you think that was okay? Nikki Baby and Hazel E. Not telling Tierra that Princess Love was on board. What y'all think about that? Let's talk about that down below in the comment section. Now you know it is time for the shout outs. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first shout out goes to JT. Her channel is Reels of Joy. And she posts inspiration and music. And you also need to check out her son's channel. True's Nation. And there's some nice videos over there. And I think that's super dope that she supports her son that's awesome next up keys has a personal blog featuring health and wellness and she goes by walk your own path the best way that you can you guys know i am all about health and wellness love it marcus has a channel with tags reviews inspiration and much more the joyful noise that's N-O-Y-Z-E. Make sure to give them some love. Annie is a young business owner and fashion blogger, and you need to check out her Instagram boutique. It is called Vintage Vixen Clothing. Leah is a director and designer, and you have to check out her portfolio website, leahroseart.com, and support her new project, the A through Zs of the Carefree Black Girl Coloring Book. Now that's dope. If you would like an opportunity to get a shout out, make sure to check out the more description all of the information is listed down below thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next review peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye